because I think he's going to be far too busy to be contemplating the complexity of a lovely champagne. He just won't have the time, will he? Well, we are having another vintage champagne next, but this one's from Waitrose. It's the Special Reserve Blanc de Blanc 2004, and this one is $29.99. Now, just like the last one, Blanc de Blanc, so this one is made entirely with Chardonnay. And again, we've got a lovely classy bottle with a lovely gold foil and, and neck. I think if your champagne says Waitrose on it, I think that's, you know, that's a good yeah. thing. Give them a look at the bottle, give them a look at the bottle. Look at the bottle. There. See? There. Right. Oh, that's lovely. Mmm. It's mm. just... Something fabulous happens to champagne as it ages, yeah. doesn't it? It just becomes more tasty, more... It evolves, and this isn't this isn't sharp, is it? It's it's, no, it's quite no. rounded now. Yeah, and it's you know it's it's but it's still got a lot of light. It's got a, a it's still lively, but oh, yeah. it's it's all developed around it's it. Tasty. Yeah, yeah. So it's really full. Yeah, in fact, it, it kind of shows its age in rather a delightful way. Some of us do. Hmm. Uh, now the richer flavour in a champagne like this makes it a perfect match for food, doesn't it? It makes yeah. it a really versatile food one. Yeah. Um, and in fact, um, anywhere that you need something with good acidity, you can turn to champagne. Yeah, and you never think of that, do you? No, you don't. You can also put it with quite a lot of puddings, yeah. and you know, you can't say that about most wines. No, no. So, um, and surprisingly, mm. this will even go with your Boxing Day curry lunch. Yum. <laughs> so our last champagne is the Sainsbury's Blonde Noir non-vintage, which we've got in a magnum. Yeah. Cool water whopper. It, it is fantastic. $39.99. Very exciting to have a magnum. Oh. Oh, well done, Sandra. Now, this is such a good way to celebrate, isn't it, having a magnum? Yeah. I mean, there's nothing more decadent than opening a bottle of one of these, is that, and it looks so good on a table. Yeah. It's a real treat having a magnum, isn't it? It is. Whatever it is. Yes. And the thing about a magnum is the, uh, the wine ages more slowly. Yeah. So, now this is a Blonde de Noir, so it's, you can imagine, the Blonde de Noir is just white grapes, you can imagine what the Blonde de Noir is. Um, so that's uh, Pinot Noir and Pinot Meunier. Lovely, lovely nose, isn't that? It just feels absolutely fresh and citrusy and... But there's also something deeper. Of, yes, I was just going to say, and there's yeah. like hints of... If there's hints that you've got those grapes that give you those more toasty, biscuity... Yeah, um, but it's flavors. also... Um, there, it might be a suggestion, but there seems to be a slight sort of strawberry... Thing you might get from the Pinot Noir. Yeah, I'll, I'll give Mel that one. Mmm. 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 That really yeah, is it's lovely. Good. Now, it's non-vintage, so it doesn't have the depth of flavour that the last two wines had. Yeah. But then, it has got, it's got a bigger percentage of red grapes, so you have got, it is, it's a tasty wine, isn't it? Yes, it is yeah. a tasty wine. But, I mean, you could hand this round, couldn't you, with anything? You could put it with food, you could have it at the start of a party to really impress. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's fab. So we've given you some ideas about the times when you can have champagne, but really, you can have champagne any time, can't yeah. you? As Lily Bollinger said, I drink it when I'm happy and when I'm sad. Sometimes I drink it when I'm alone. When I have company, I consider it obligatory. I trifle with it when I'm not hungry, and I drink it when I am. Otherwise, I never touch it, unless I'm thirsty. Excellent woman. <laughs> yeah. See you next time. See you next time.